Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another Lone Pen 4 review from Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies. And this is a Banu pen. And it is the Banu Scepter number one. So I think let's open this box here. And you will see that we first off have a pouch for the pen. We have a Banu care guide that is concertinaed together. We have a long international cartridge and then we have some paper bedding there. And if we then take a look at this pen in this pouch, it is this pen. And this is a Banu Scepter number one. And when I saw these scepters, I really like the look of these for a number of reasons. I love that the shape of the pen is like a scepter, like a wand, and or a staff even. And I do like that these pens have facets on them and you can see here the way that the light reflects off of those facets that they are twisting as well and I do like the color mix in some of these pens so this one has a lot of red or a pinkish red and then a blue and then another red here and then it has a lot of gold sort of flakes in there or glitter and this really appealed to me i like the look of this pen the only thing that i did worry about is that it has a number five size nib and you can see that here and i am much more preferring these days a number six size nib so for me i did think that that might be an issue for me now I do have some number five size nibs in my collection and to be honest I don't tend to write with them that much although I find nothing wrong with them but I just find that they tend to be a little on the small side I tend to like to look at a much larger nib and write with a much larger nib but for me I actually do like this pen and when I started writing with this and writing for about a week I actually found out that I really started to like how this pen wrote and likewise how it feels in my hand. Now this does have quite a thin section here it does taper down quite a lot but I do tend to hold this up a little bit more higher on the threads there and that doesn't actually make sort of it feel too thin so in terms of the pen the pen flares out right here at the tip of the cap there is really no finial other than a facet sort of design going on there where all of these facets is almost like a diamond meet to a point so the cap then tapers in to what is the cap band here and you will see that it spells Banu and then it starts to taper and twist back out again to what is the end cap but this is a pen that I thought I would like and when I started writing with it I did fall in love with it now if I unscrew the body here you will find it has a standard international converter and this is just an unbranded Schmidt converter. The number size 5 nib I will show you also is a Schmidt nib and I do find that this writes very very nicely. So for me this is quite nice and that is a medium nib. but. I do find that it's a pen that I have been writing with quite a bit over the last week and to that point that this pen is on loan or was on loan I should say from Derek at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies and I did decide to buy this pen from him because 
I do like this a lot, and I didn't think I would like a lot of the Benu models, and I didn't think I lo would like them because of the thinner sections, and a lot of them have a number five size nib. Now, these also do come in the Grande Scepters, which will have a larger nib to them, and they will have a number six size nib. And I tried the Grandes, and I do like the Grandes, really nice pens, but I found that they were more glow-in-the-dark versions, and I much prefer these Scepters here, because these don't glow in the dark, but they have some really nice, vibrant colours going on. So for me, I find, although this is quite a short pen, and you cannot also post the pen, it's not designed to post the pen, but I do find that this is a pen that I gravitate to quite a bit uh, in the week when I'm writing with it. So I think let's do a size check, we'll do a weight check, we'll do a pen comparison, and then we'll do a writing sample. So the size of the pen, we are looking about 134 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is 61 millimeters in length. And the length of the body is actually quite short at 122 millimeters. And I typically like a pen that's around about 130 millimeters in length but as you can see here it's still even if I hold it up higher here on the threads which I do not find a sharp there is a bit of a step down here though that you will sort of kind of feel but I do still find that this is quite comfortable to hold it up a little bit higher there and it also saves me getting ink on my fingers there if it's too close to the nib but for me, I, I find that this is quite a comfortable pen to write with. So I think let's do a weight check. So the full weight of the pen is just under or just over 25 and a half grams. The weight of the body, we are looking at just under seven and a half grams and then the weight of the body there without the cap and this is uninked is just under 15 and a half grams which is actually quite a nice weight of pen now the great thing about this pen is although it doesn't have a clip and I know a lot of people do prefer to have clips on their pens because of these facets, this pen is not going to roll very easily. It will stop on the desk. So I wish more companies would do, make a clipless pen like this because this to me, I think is a really good design and it just stops it from rolling around. Like If you push it a little bit, it will roll under force, but normally if you just, it, you put it down on the desk it's not going to roll anywhere so for me i think that is a really good design and i am loving those facets as well so i think let's do a comparison with other pens so from left to right we have a visconti Calido voyager in the yellow dawn a visconti brunelleschi a visconti medici a atelier luso carina in the diamond nebula we have a Banu scepter number one we have an atelier luso andromeda in the king cobra an atelier luso andromeda in the dragon we have a scribo right here exclusive in the noble green and we have a scribo right here these are scribo number twos and these are in the cardinal red and then we have a scribo fill in the verde bosco so let's do a writing sample. This is the Banu Scepter. And this is the number one. This is a medium steel nib. And uh, it is a Schmidt nib as well. Now the ink in here, I've actually got a Schmittastic ink and it's Diamine. 
Shimmertastic and it's Wine Divine which is actually quite a nice glittery shimmery ink now in terms of line variation this is a medium nib and you can see I'm not getting any hard starts or skips if I press a little bit more it's a steel nib but you can get a little bit more line variation out of it and you can see here from the figure of eights and then also we've got some more line variation there so I'm again I'm not getting any hard starts or skips in terms of ink wetness You can see there that this is quite a wet pen. It's not a dry nib, but it's not a fire hose nib either. So this, you could write in a notebook, although you might find that it takes a little bit longer to dry because it is quite a wet pen. But for me, I like how this nib writes. The nib has some feedback to it, not a lot, but a little bit. And I do tend to find that with some of these Schmidt nibs, but it is quite a smooth nib as well and it does actually put down quite a wet line so for me I do like this pen I'd like to thank Derek from Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies for loaning me this pen for review although I did then go and buy it uh, you can go and check out Derek at his website at Stonecot Fine Writing Supplies or check him out on Instagram so again, I'd like to thank Derek for the loan of this pen for review, and then I did ultimately pay Derek money, good money, for the Banu Scepter. So that's my review of the Banu Scepter number one. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.